It's Kipchumba. 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 Kitara. Kipchumba. Kitara. Kitara. Oh my goodness, Kipchumba. Oh my god. Got a little bobo, a little coffee, everybody. All right, let me just get in, shimmy in the studio here. All right, we're watching the London Marathon. Oh my goodness, it looks like it's raining over there. So I'm setting up. Actually, it's about time to go live, so I, I can't talk too much. Test, 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 test. One, two, three. Good morning. All right, I'm awake, everybody. Can you see me? Let me know. Cheers. Oh my, my. Let's see. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of folks here, I do believe. Sprint, 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 sprint. It's Kipchumba. 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 Kitara. Kipchumba. Kitara. Kitara. Oh my goodness, Kipchumba. Oh my goodness, Kipchumba. It was good. Kitara. Kitara the Ethiopian. Kitara the Ethiopian. Kitara the Ethiopian. Kitara. Kipchumba and Lemma. Kitara Kipchumba and Lemma. Kitara Kipchumba. All right, I just signed off. That was awesome. Crazy. I'm tired. Let's go. Let's go break down the race. Uh, and oh my goodness, what a day. What a day. And we're back in the studio. All right, it's about nine hours later from the last clip you watched. I have not gone to bed, so hopefully my thoughts are clear enough for all of you as we analyze and break down the London Marathon 2020. I'm still, still kind of reeling from that men's finish and the ladies finish. All right, so let's dive into it. I've got results on my screen here. I'm going to be glancing down at. Wow, what a day. We're going to talk about it. Here we go. Bridget Kaz guy of Kenya coming in first place to 1858 sporting the Nike Alpha Fly next percent. So we're going to talk about racing shoes here in a minute. Second place from the United States of America dropping a crazy kick down the home stretch. I heard she made up a lot like was it 40 seconds? in the last 1500 meters. I think I read that somewhere. Anyway, or somebody was talking about it in the live stream. By the way, upper right hand corner in case you missed the live stream from today here in the studio. It was epic, absolutely epic. She ran, Sarah Hall ran two hours, 22 minutes and one second. The number six all time uh, for on the women's side for the United States at, at the marathon distance. Number six all time American. 37 years old. I didn't know she was 37. You know, I thought maybe she was my age, roughly 37 years old, still throwing down, racing in what we'll call the ASICS prototype for now. All right, we'll leave it there. And third place, Ruth Chep uh, Getich. Uh, and again, forgive me on the names, Ruth Chep, Chep Getich of Kenya. Sorry on that. Two hours, 22 minutes and five seconds four seconds behind Sarah. She is the uh, defending, the reigning, I should say, world champ, outkicked, and she was racing once again in the Nike Alpha Fly next percent. Moving on to the men's side. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my my. Here we go. Shura Katata of Ethiopia coming in first place. Two hours, five minutes, 41 seconds in the, I should have pointed out before, in the Nike Next Percent, there's the Alpha Fly down there, and there's the Audios Pro up there. We'll come back to that, well, right now. In second place, Vincent, Vincent Kip Chumba of Kenya, coming in at 2.05.42, one second behind in the Adidas Audi Zero Audios Pro. There's a lot of A's in there, all right? And then third place, uh, Sise Lemma of Ethiopia, in 205, 45, yes, once again, in the Nike Next Percent, okay? Notables, Kipchoge, 206, 49, in eighth place, breaking his 10 year, or sorry, his 10 race win streak. 10 races in a row he had won, okay? 
And so I believe we're looking at 2014 to 2020. He has not lost a race. Kipchoge came in eighth place today and Jared Ward of the United States with a 2.12.38. And one of his goals today was not to get lapped and he accomplished that goal coming off of a seven to eight week training block. I heard it was seven weeks, kind of crazy. Uh, not sure the rationale behind all that. And his PR is 209.25 from the 2019 Boston Marathon. Jared Ward in, I believe, oh boy, I believe it was 17th place. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about Sarah Hall and the ASICS prototypes. These new, what we are calling the, the running community, the ASICS prototypes. It's flying all over the internet. No one has ever seen this shoe from ASICS. No, it was definitely, definitely not this ASICS Meta Racer. A, the, the stack height, okay, of what Sarah Hall, and I'm going to try and find a couple screenshots for you, uh, was definitely looking very reminiscent of the Audi Zero Pro stack height, just so you know, very reminiscent. So the Meta Racer right here was definitely not on Sarah Hall's feet. <laughs> Sarah did not fly to London with a laser to measure the stack height of a shoe, all right? Whoever, like somebody needs to be in charge of Sarah Hall's shoes as, as well as every other athlete's making sure that the shoes are legal. Personally, I don't think that should fall on the responsibility of the athlete. It should fall to the responsibility of the sponsor. Gonna leave it there. Moving on to Eliud Kipchoge. Here we go. All I gotta say, we are all mortal. We're all mortal, okay? We're not gonna win forever. Old uh, old man time, how, I can never remember that. how that phrase goes. Old time, not old time winter. Time waits for no man, okay? I am not saying this is the beginning of Kipchoge's downturn in his running career. It sounds like he had, you know, well, he doesn't sound like. He said after the race that he had issues with his right ear blocking up. And that could have caused some unbalance. I've heard some people say that it can cause some vertigo. Um, so his right ear blocked up. Was it because of the weather? Was it because it was drizzling or raining for most of the race, I do believe, um, with some wind as well? So, but he did not use the weather as an excuse in the post-race interview. Just so you know, uh, I've gone back and listened to it. And, uh, but I said in the live stream, once again, upper right hand corner, at about the one hour mark, I was looking at his stride and it looked a little off. It did not look as smooth or as powerful. You know what, it looked like he was sitting back a little bit in his gait cycle. It didn't quite look like he was he had that lean forward. So in addition to his right ear, um, again, what I heard was that his, uh, his leg was cramping up as well. I believe it was his right leg, just a little bit. So those two combinations can definitely throw off any elite runner, okay? Um, so also I, I mentioned, so at the one hour mark, I was like, you know what, his right foot, or his, I think it was his left foot, yeah, his left foot strike, and his left leg just looked a little off to me. Um, so he didn't look as smooth. Uh, no Bekele, I don't know, mentally, if you're preparing to race Bekele for six months and then Bekele drops out, what does that do to you mentally? Does it take the edge off? I I'd, I'd like to believe that for Kipchoge, nothing throws him off mentally, right? He is like tried and true and tested as far as performing under pressure, but at the same time, we're all mortal. All right, moving on. Number two, our another point is the crowd noise. Again, I feel Pacers like when you see Kipchoge racing, he loves the crowds and there were no crowds today. Now, uh, some people have thrown out the example of Monza, Italy. The first time he tried to break two hours in the marathon, uh, came up about 25 seconds short, but there were no crowds around the entire track. There were crowds right around the start and finish. So again, I don't know. It's just a little theory. Like, you know, I think he loves working with the crowds. I can sense it as you're watching him race. Um, even just last year's London Marathon. Like, he had a ball. Like, he had so much fun feeding off of the crowd. At least that, that's what it looks like on TV. So, those are my thoughts on Kipchoge. Moving on to the winner, winner, chicken dinner, Kitata of Ethiopia, 24 years old. Hello. First major marathon victory, although he has come in second place here are some stats on your screen i believe it was second place at new york city and i think it was second place at london so he is not um you know and he's 24 years old he's nine years 
younger than Kipchoge. So that means he was born in 1992-ish. Uh, is that right? No, 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 no. Way later. He this is well. This is when he was born as well on your screen. So I'm very excited for him. He's obviously got a promising future ahead, and he was racing once again in the Nike Next Percent. And speaking of that, let's talk about the racing shoes and the battle today in London. So you're actually looking, am I correct here? Let me just double check here. You are looking at the three shoes on the shelf right now, worn by the winners, okay? The Adidas, Audi Zero, Audios Pro, or sorry, the, the top three on the women's and men's side. Adidas, Audi Zero, Audios Pro, Nike Next Percent, and Nike Alpha Fly Next Percent. In fact, do I have them here? I do have them here. One second here. Okay, bear with me, bear with me. There they are. Again, I know this is a different color, but uh, it is the Audios Pro. So I'm excited, everyone. This is big, big time. And I gotta say, <laughs> it maybe doesn't look the best for Nike. The fact that, let me just count it up again. Hold on. That one, two, well, on the men's side, their first and third place you know, runners decided to wear the next percent over the Alpha Fly. That doesn't look great, okay? Now, Kipchoge was in the Alpha Fly, and then Bekele, if he would have raced, he was going to go with the next percent. It doesn't look great for Nike, right? It's like you want your premier shoe to be on the feet of your athletes, but I guess in their contracts, they can choose, right? Whatever shoe they want to race in. And of course, I almost forgot, sorry, Sarah Hall. Of course, I do not have the ASICs prototype shoe here on the shelf yet. ASICs, huh? huh? If you're listening, ASICs, I'd be happy to test out the ASICs prototype anytime, anytime. You better believe it. Okay. Also, little knock, knock, knock on Nike's door. I think it's a wake-up call. I think other companies, again, first of all, I think it's a wake-up call that some of the athletes went with the next percent over the Alpha Fly. I predict by Tokyo 2021, that the Alpha Fly is gonna get a big, not a big update, but gonna get an update. I am making that prediction. Uh, but the fact that Adidas, and again, Adidas and Nike have been battling it out more than any other company, two companies out there for marathon racing shoe dominance over the past, not years, but decades. So this is exciting. This is good for us, the consumers, okay? For the fact that Adidas made it on the podium. This is a great, great thing for 2021 moving forward. And I think the only hope could be that, you know, like the Sauconies of the world, the New Balances of the world, the Hokas of the world can continue to press ahead as well. I think they have a bigger, a much, much bigger hill to climb uh, than Adidas does, but it's just, it's exciting. Personally, I love the competition and there you go, my racing shoe breakdown from today for the London Marathon 2020. Congrats to all the elites, and all the virtual runners as well. Let us know in the comments if you did the virtual London Marathon as well. Thank you for being here. Question of the day. This is tough. What does the future hold for Kipchoge, for Bekele, for Katata, for Bridget Cosguy, the, the ladies winner, and then for Sarah Hall? Pick one, or if you wanna analyze all the athletes, that's great. What is the future? What does the future look like for all five of those athletes with respect to their racing moving forward. Okay, that's the question of the day. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. London Marathon 2020 in the books. Tossing it to the live stream from this morning. Feels like uh, days ago, frankly. Feels like days ago. Right there, right there. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it, everybody. All right, here we go. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.